Hi, I think we're live again. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome back to the stream. Ugh. Ugh, I'm stretching. Hi. <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta put the batteries in. And I gotta announce this. Everybody who's everybody who's here before I even announce the stream are the cool kids. Okay, batteries are in controller. Gotcha. You're in advert hell, but I'm saying hi regardless. Oh, cool. Hey, at least those advertisements get me money. <laughs> Thunderbug, okay. Cave story. Cave story. I'm sending it to Miss. The announcement, that is. Y'all ready for five uninterrupted hours of Kirby tomorrow, by the way? I'm really hyping up that stream. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered. Um, I gotta turn down my volume so that people don't get blasted by Cave Story this time. Here we go. Yeah, five hour Kerbo. And you get to see real life me. I must apologize in advance for the fact that I don't have pale green skin in real life. I've been lying to you. <laughs> I do have this shirt in real life, though. And you will see it. Probably tomorrow. I'm probably gonna, That's probably what I'm gonna wear. Um, games. Cave story. Cave story. There we go. <laughs> Aha, look at that. I've managed not to blast you with the, with the, with the music. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it for a second. It's really good. <laughs> I remember uh, for my senior year, it's a school I go to. Um, we had to do, it was called the Capstone Project, right? And because it was an art school, it had to be about, like, your journey with art, right? And for me, art stuff is, you know, video games. Oh, that's right, I was gonna go back to, uh... To load up on stuff. So far, I've taken damage, as opposed to gaining any. Listen to this good music for a bit, at least. I kind of want this ability for this boss. It does less damage, as Karma pointed out last stream, but it like hits a lot more stuff. So when I want to hit a bunch of stuff, it's good.
Uh, fiddlesticks. This is intense. There we go, I got him. Grinding for health has gone kind of poorly. So I've gotten fairly good viewership for Cave Story on Twitch, right? But on YouTube, these videos are like getting no views compared to my other streams lately. Also, it's really funny. Everything fluctuates. Like sometimes I'm getting better viewership on Twitch than I am on YouTube, and sometimes it's vice versa. And right now is 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 that case. I'm getting a lot more views on YouTube right now than I am live on Twitch. Um, but this, this game is not. Nobody's watching me play Cave Story on YouTube. I don't really know, I don't really have an explanation for that, but... Lots of people have watched F-Zero X, though. People love that one. <laughs> Nobody cares about my Cave Story playthrough, though. I was really excited to stream this, though, so I don't care. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm having a good time playing Cave Story. Um, I don't remember if I saved, so I'm gonna save again. This is a much better save than what I was, uh, working with last time, so that was the point of that. I gotta pick up the thing. This has been a very fun series of streams, so I'm glad. That is good. Yeah, I was watching a video with, with uh, Bess the other night that was talking about, like, content creation culture, basically. It was talking about just, like, making stuff to appease the algorithm or whatever. And how you, that's sort of what mostly leads to burnout, is like trying to make stuff all the time, and just making stuff to please the algorithm. And like, I think I've, I've dodged doing that. Like, like, I'm building up an audience still. Like, it, like it's slow. It's like a lot slower than it could be if I was just like really gaming the system. But I don't care, because I'm having, I'm still enjoying myself. And like, it just, I don't think it would be worth my time if I was not, you know? They said, what, this, there, there's like, there's sort of like a growing change in philosophy in regards to that stuff. Like people, more and more people are rejecting the idea of, of just content creation, you know? Which is good. And they said like, your goal, sh like they said the, there's this thing, there's this idea where your goal should be to have a thousand true fans who just really enjoy the stuff that you make and will follow you no matter what platform you're making stuff on, or whatever. And like, yeah, that's probably what I would go for. And they said once you have that, you're really like set. You don't really need more than that. <laughs>
Yeah, that's the other thing is, is people chasing becoming viral. And the thing with going viral is that it only lasts a short amount of time. And trying to chase doing that over and over and over will get really tiring and doesn't necessarily even work, you know? There's no guarantee. That you can keep doing that indefinitely. Maybe for a little while, but... Well, Curly Brace is the one actually doing damage here for me. Thanks, Curly. Oh, there- Oh, what hit me? I wasn't paying- God damn it, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, and there was also, they mentioned that a good thing to do is, like, 50-50, make stuff that your audience wants, and make stuff that you want to make. I, I, I don't really, like, like, I ask my audience sometimes, like, hey, what would you like to see me do, or, oops, I guess what, I forgot to, uh, pick up the thing. But I'm not going to do something if it's, like, not going to be fun for me. Because that's not going to be fun for anybody else, you know? <laughs> if people want me to do something and I think it'll be fun for me, then I'll do it. And, like, the video game that I'm making is not something that, it, that I think is going to... Like, like I'm not making it to go off of, like, trends or something, or, like, something they think is going to be the most popular game ever. I'm making the game that I want to make and that I would want to play. That's how all my games have been, is, like, I've made something I want to play. So Pizza Time Explosion was. That's why it was, like, based on, uh... Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 so heavily, because I love that game and I want more of it, basically. <laughs> more things along those lines. Gray area is just completely just doing stuff that I think is fun. And I and I and I've probably talked about before I like to use I like the idea of using video games as a storytelling medium. Like just fully integrated. Like not having a separation between gameplay and story. Like just really exploring both of those. Like just using the game as a means to tell the story itself, you know. I feel like Grey Area doesn't do that to a really high degree, but some of the stuff I'm planning to make after Grey Area really does. And Grey Area sets those things up, so... <laughs> well, that was some good damage I got going there. Okay, Water, come back down, please. Need, I'm gonna need you to come back down, please. No, oh, I could. Uh, it's so hard to dodge those ones. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really. It's not really upsetting to me how slow the growth has been for this stuff, because like. The other thing I always talk about, of course, is that when you're small, you can, like, genuinely make friends with the people who show up because there's so few people, you can, like, actually get to know the people who show up, you know? And it doesn't have to be the, the like, content creator and fan dynamic so much. Like, I'm not exactly looking forward to eventually having that dynamic. Like, like in some ways I am. Some ways that sounds fun. But I will miss... Um... The, the little close-knit small community that I have at the moment as well, if I ever get there. But I'm not, like, banking on it either, right? Like, I'm not doing this stuff with the idea that someday I'll be famous or something, you know? That's not really important to me. Oop. 
<laughs> okay. This looks like I've got the volume a little loud. Let me, uh... Let me, uh... Just a, just a tad. And for myself, too. It's a little loud for me. <laughs> Great. So glad I did that. What? This boss is tough beans. Tough beans. Some of my very best friends I've met through uh, doing this stream, so <laughs> it's been nice. Hi, Sasha. I'm hoping that I get a lot of viewers for Kirby tomorrow. I don't know if I will though, because like some people will probably be avoiding watching stuff with that game. Day one. But I hope I've hyped it up enough to get a lot of people. <laughs> people get to see me in motion for the first time. <laughs> Oh my god. That was good. I just wanna hit him. Uh beans. Uh, beans in the toilet. Just where I don't want the beans. It's the last place you want to see beans is in the toilet. I can't forget that I have the ability to uh, heal myself once. be best at this point. Never mind. Oh, it's leveled down. Oh, no, please. Okay. I didn't want to drown. Colonel, I've managed to avoid drowning. I cannot be I was... We've been watching some Metal Gear clips. Uh, me and Biss. Um, I think Sasha was there, too. But, um... I just cannot get over the the, the way Raiden's voice is diff is so different in the later games after two. Because in two, he's like, "Colonel, we've managed to avoid drowning," and then he's like, <laughs> "It's like <laughs> it's so funny to me. It's like comically deep voice." I have developed a very powerful vocal range. Myself. Well, couldn't get out of the water that time. <laughs> Cause like I've mentioned, I've been I've been like getting my voice up into this register. But 
Darkens to the ruin, dark likeness to. <laughs> oh my god, doing that hurts my throat now, though. My voice has gotten way more used to talking like this than anything even remotely that low. I had to take a drink because, boy, that fried my voice, or fried my throat. My voice is fine, my throat, though. <laughs> there you go. I can still do my, I can still do my vector impression. I'm, I'm very pleased I still have that in me. <laughs> Nothing we do seems to stop these aliens from coming and coming! <laughs> I never want to lose my vector impression. Me of uh, of uh, Holly from uh, Wayne Radio TV. Um, although, well, she does her own stuff, but like you probably know her from from Wayne Radio TV. Um, because she was Dr. Coomer in uh, the Half Life VR, but the AI is self aware. And you hear her normal speaking voice, and I'm like, what? How did she? How did she do that? How did she do the Dr. Coomer voice? He sounds nothing like it. <laughs> My vector voice is canon to you. Thank you. Please don't. Oh my god. Did you see that? I like. I framed my way through two of them and then somehow masterfully dodged the third one. No explanation for that. Science cannot explain that one. Just actual voice voice acting work. Oh, nice. My vector voice is the one voice I can do. I mean, the other one is the. I'm going to wear some booties today. I don't even know what that voice is. I Biss calls it Marvin the Martian. I guess we'll go with that. That's my Marvin the Martian voice. I don't remember what Marvin the Martian even says. So I can't even like say something as Marvin the Martian. Oops. Well, that was bad. I was late to that as a meme, a vector wanting to go to the computer room, but like, um, I understand why it was a meme. That's like the most memorable, one of the most memorable things from Shadow the Hedgehog. It was vector wanting to go to the computer room. I extrapolated from that. I came up with my headcanon that vector just has the newest he has he has the newest half-life game and he really wants to play it so he's got to find the computer room so he can play that <laughs> it's, i was telling this before i like what i've done with my voice hasn't been very difficult and just sort of let it go naturally where it feels like it should go
And ta-da! Here I am. I really, I really, um... I really, um, surprised myself with, like, how good it sounds. Like, I, I was worried that I sounded, like, weird or something, as I've mentioned before. But, like, when I finally, like, listened back to myself, my new voice, it's, like... Sound really feminine, actually. Like really naturally feminine, and like like I didn't, I had no coaching on it or anything. I just I just did it. I don't know what to tell you. Apparently vocal training can end up changing your accent, depending on, like, what accent the person coaching you has. Uh-oh. I'm gonna run out of air. There you go. Ow. your voice, Sasha. I always thought you sound really girly. Ah. I'm so close to beating it this time. Look at this, chat. I haven't really been commenting on the boss very much. It's been kind of a, just a background thing. I could honestly try to just survive and let Curly beat it for me at this point. Easier said than done. Wait, 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 wait. No, I couldn't remember how to get to the end. I was trying to... Ah! It's the R button. Damn. Because I could have healed myself. Damn. <laughs> um. Oh, you went back to watch the first parts of the Raymond One playthrough. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um. I already sounded different. Like my like. I don't think I was really consciously doing anything with my voice yet at that point. But like. I already sounded really, like, pretty different from how I did, like, a year before that point, because I was watching back um, some of my Plants vs. Zombies playthrough from early... er... no, I think it was just, like, the middle of 2020 I played that game. Um, I was like, damn, I let myself sound like that? It's like, I just, I just sounded like that? How did I let that go on for so long? <laughs> The funny thing is, I feel like at this point I've forgotten how to talk with my previous with my previous voice. I don't think I can ever get back to it now. And it's it's been such a fast process. Like how long have I been even doing this for? Like a month? Two months? I feel like I started in February. It's wild. Transition is wild. I'm wasting my rockets. Oops. I feel like I feel like transitioning has increased my power level significantly. Speaking of, uh, well, actually, I wasn't speaking of water. I was thinking to myself about the water. Um, I made a post yesterday, something I was thinking about is, are there any games that have ever tried to recreate the, like, the lensing effect of water? Like, you know, when you, like, look into a fish tank and the position of everything is, like, different depending on what angle you look at it through? I can't think of any examples of a game that, um, 
takes the lensing effect of water into account with their water shaders. I gotta get out of the water. Come on. Nope, not gonna make it. So close. But anyway, nobody's ever thought of doing that. I mean, somebody has to have thought of doing that, right? That's probably a thing in, like, realistic rendering of water, I'm sure. Like, with, with ray tracing. But in video games, I can't think of anything. I play a little bit of everything. <laughs> I mean, that's... I'm sure you could tell that based on the stuff that I stream. <laughs> I play all kinds of games. Yeah, that's like realistic rendering. CGI stuff. Does anyone other than computer scientists ever do that? <laughs> and then you have the water in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond that still bothers me to this day. I just kind of like video games, for the most part. Like, there's some kinds of video games I don't care for very much. Like, realistic driving simulators. I like arcade racing games more. I don't really care for RPGs, traditional RPGs that much. I like unusual RPGs that do weird stuff with the with RPG mechanics. I don't like uh, cover shooters, like 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 those type of FPSs, or just like really technical FPSs. I like Borderlands and Doom when it comes to FPSs. <laughs> that's, that's more my style. I don't like sports simulator games very much. But I like cartoony sports games. It's just like the racing games. I like the, the silly ones better. I don't really care for fighting games as a whole, either. And that's about it. Otherwise, it's all fair game. <laughs> Ooh, big damage time. Did you see that? Big damage. Damage in the house. Victory Heat Rally? It's a Pokemon Arcade Racing indie game. No, I have not heard of that. I remember there's a game that's been in development hell for like since the Wii U days called the 90s Arcade Racing game. That I always thought looked really nice. But I, I don't think it's ever going to come out. I think that ship has sailed. They keep, they keep, like, acting like it's going to come out eventually. But I, I really don't expect it ever to come out. Oh, also, a little racing game that I want to recommend. I, I recommend the 3DS version, especially because the eShop's going down. If you don't have this, pick it up, because it's the best version of it. It's just called uh, 80s Overdrive. And that's a really fun one. Very arcade style. And of course, I gotta recommend Cruise and Blast on the Switch again, because it's the, just the silliest game of all time. I love it so much. There's very little substance to that game, but the, the spectacle is top-notch. I super recommend that one, just for the, just for the spectacle of it. Um, there's an 80s overdrive is also in the Switch, it's just that um, the aesthetic is a little bit not as good there because it doesn't, like, stick to the pixel grid. And for me personally, that takes away from it. 
He did it. Pull it up, I see. There, finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would you toss me down here? You're no mother. Take the island down with you in a blaze of glory. Bring the core to the laboratory at once. Ooh! Curly? I remembered to pick up the tow rope, right? I better have remembered to pick up the tow rope. Okay. I I understand. Okay. I've been really trying to pick that up every time. Hello? How do I... how do I... make this continue? The mouse doesn't do it. Uh... This dialogue means I did. How do I how do I make it move forward? Uh, what? I'm pressing literally every key on the keyboard or not on the keyboard, every button on my controller. Every keyboard key. Um... Dialogue stuck. Can't find anything about this. Damn. Oh no, am I going to have to redo this? Yeah, nothing is is making this move forward. I'm pressing every button. I turned caps lock on accidentally. Nope, nothing's working. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait. What happened? What? It just works now.
Okay, so there's some place I have to bring Curly to. I have no idea what that was, but that was uh, very interesting. I have no clue what that was. I didn't even read the rest of the dialogue because I was just so shocked that I had managed to get it to move. We have Curly. Okay, good save. Once you get to the room with the currents, be on the lookout. Yeah, I remember there's like a secret room you have to get to, basically. Yeah, and here. Okay. Let my bubbles back up again. Come on, bubbles. Good lord. This is the wrong place to try and level up the bubbler, evidently. Oh yeah, also after the stream today I'm going to... I mentioned I was planning to do it yesterday but didn't end up with the time for it. I'm going to start uh, recording some of my voiceover for my Mario Kart video. It's a big video so I'm doing it in chunks. I'm gonna record voiceover and hopefully start editing some of it. It's a slight problem that I don't know exactly where I'm trying to get to. useful for this. Oops. I like how Curly stays there. It's in the upper right. Okay, thank you, Karma. That's the info I needed. <clears throat> oh yeah, I see it there. See? That door. That's where I'm going. Okay, let me try again with the bubbler. With the bubbler, with the bubbler. Let's try again with the bubbler. This is my song about trying again with the bubbler. Doritos? So no Doritos? 
throw my phone on the ground. Actually, the more topical reference would be, um, no Doritos. Mm -hmm. So you love Doritos, but do Doritos love you, Vis? I got spaghetti on my head? No, I don't. Get out of here. Doritos don't love you? Wow. A disappointing for you. Doritos love me. This friend is a Dorito. Well, this... I've been, I am not leveling up the bubble or this way. It's kind of just not happening. No, that's not spaghetti, that's curly brace. That's her hair. She has yellow hair. Do you like the fact that when you said I had spaghetti on my head, I had to stop and check my head for spaghetti? Like, wait, what? what the, no, wait a minute. <laughs> Bucket of salmon. I should start ending all of my videos with Bucket of salmon. Just like Waifu Simulator 27 ended a video with Bucket of Salmon. Every clown has to have backup spaghetti ready. Have to have their spaghetti reserves prepared. Oh, I, that's the way it's just a circle. You're sitting on my head? Oh, I see. A good place for you. Just like uh, Arrow's head is a good place for Miss. All the ducks are swimming in the water. Oh, I see how this was. There's once I get over there, there's like a brief moment where there's no current, and I can get up there. There she is. You know, I often recorded what I learned in that notebook. Okay, so there's another sequence of events I'm going to have to do here. Yes, I would like that chroma. Was it correct to to put her in the bed already? That's the first thing I gotta know. Do I have to do this again or not? Do do do. Yes, it would be nice if you could tell me so I don't have to go spend time trying to look it up again. <laughs> Cause I've done this before. I remember had I I remember it. I just don't remember the the specifics at this point. Need to read the books on the left about flooded robots and realize that currently is flooded. Gotcha. I, that's what I thought. 
Every dwarf will have limitations on their operation underwater. Learned how to treat flooded robots. <laughs> to flush her. Uh. Okay, so then there's something else I have to do, right? I don't remember what exactly it is. to make sure you, to take her with you, too. Okay, there we go. Wait, what did it say? Huh. The bed's sopping wet. At least we can't sleep there now, huh? She wet the bed. Uh-huh, get it? Curly with you should double your health. Her health should count. Now. Making mistakes left and right. Now. Something's coming. It's a scrolling shooter now. I forgot. I don't remember this part at all. I don't remember this at all. Okay. It turns into a scrolling shooter. Also, why does everything come from behind you when you can't shoot behind you? It seems kind of rude. In my opinion. can't believe I'd use her as a shield. Yeah, I have no- I have no care for anybody else. Other than me. Definitely. Curly Brace is just a shield. If you take no damage here, you get the alien badge. Well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, it already didn't happen. I have no memory of this. This is wild. I didn't remember there was a scrolling shooter section at all. really want to level up the bubbler. I leveled up and leveled down simultaneously. Wow. No! I keep doing it.
And I'll level up the bubbler later. This is fun enough. Fine enough. Like how something's coming and then it's just a big fish. It's just a funny fish. Well, lots of funny fish, actually. I mean, the boss is just a big fish. It's funny how much stuff about this game I just completely forgot even was in it. So that happens when you play a game, uh, like, eight years ago. And never again. Oh, also, I just realized earlier, I got a, I was trying to talk about the, the senior capstone project that we did at school. Where you have to talk about your art. And for me, it was about, um, video games. The reason I brought that up was because I brought up Cave Story, because I'd just been playing it at the time. And that was part of my presentation. Because I was talking about the way that you make, um... Like, sort of the process of making video games, and it was a good example, because I was... I could show that, like, there's concept art, and then... And then you go to, um, like, making the levels and everything, like, putting it together, and then there's, like, the music that goes into it, and I remember showing Cave Story music. We're back here again. Yeah, it's like a big, big finale presentation you give. And I gave mine about video games and making video games. Aha! So this is an important plot thing that we only got because we didn't go in that one pit. Also, so... so everything's going to plan right now, right? I didn't do anything wrong. Like, it's okay that, that Curly's not here right now. Just... just to check. <laughs> One sec. Okay. Just checking on some messages. Okay. We say to escape when I had the chance. Got the booster V2. There we go. Ah, also Chroma says everything's good. Okay. Only one real step left in the whole process. Gotcha. Sakamoto's daughter. Had no choice but to come along with us. Take that girl with you and flee. So I can just go ahead and save and everything and we're good. Okay, so the next thing to do is... Yes, I, I knew that, Chroma. How do you use the booster, though? This is info I need. Push the jump button in midair. Oh, I see it wasn't equipped. And now it is. If I was really trying to be a completionist with this playthrough, there's several places I could go to and get some health containers. Now that I have this. The music here is very different now, huh? Gotten the nemesis? 
I have no clue. Don't remember. I'm gonna save in the start point, just for old time's sake. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> you saying this is one of the best songs on the soundtrack, uh, Chroma just reminded you, reminded me, rather, of you at Sasha's stream, saying a bunch of songs in the, um, uh, inscription are the best one in the game. And then that got me remembering that, um, I've been trying to, I'm, I'm trying next to get Sasha to stream, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, which feels vaguely similar vein of a game and also one that I think that she would enjoy. Oh, he's awake now. Someone went and stole it while I was sleeping. Hey, isn't that my gun? Ah. I long believe that one's weapons should be crafted by oneself. However... Moves this man to tears? Huh. After I finish it, of course. Polar Star became the Spur. You added that game to your wish list? Nice. Creators knows who are users. Humor will become a joy, and I know there will be those who will enjoy my work to the utmost. I'm just barely old enough to remember the internet being like how it's depicted in, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw. Oh yeah, so look at this. Level 1 on this gun is level 3 of the, the previous one. That's pretty great, right? Oh yeah, also it works like this. It doesn't level up properly. Yeah, look at that. So that's why- th th that's one reason why this gun is good, is because it never loses its power. You can't level it down, so you never have to worry about that. So, like, this is always a good gun to, to fall back on, basically. Also, is it just me or are there a lot more enemies in here now? Is that just me? I swear there wasn't this many enemies before. to practice with your new gun on, I presume. Look at- oh yeah, there's definitely more. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not sure where to go now.
danger, no entry. I can get up here now. Uh, yes? <laughs> oh. Well, that's exciting, huh? <laughs> okay. I feel like you like this character, Sasha. <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon sound somehow when you're charging this thing up. Well, I've just exterminated literally everything from this from this area. You know, you know the sounds when you like land and and walk in this game. They're very subtle. I think I might implement something like this in gray area. Like these these are nice little subtle sounds. I think I might yeah I think I might mimic the 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 jump and land sound effects from Cave Story for gray area. I didn't think about it. I like this. It's just kind of like a, a like a soft thud, and there's just very subtle walking sounds. I think it adds a lot, and I like how the jump sound effect isn't like boing or any or like a like a like a very video gamey sound. It's just a little. Psh. You hear that? Just like a little bit of white noise. I'm just listening to this here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do pretty much exactly that. I'm just gonna ape this exactly for gray area, I think, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much perfect. I think. <laughs> I'm glad I, like, noticed that. I hadn't really been paying attention to that, but I, I noticed that and I'm like, hmm. Hmm, a gray area could use that. I mean, Cave Story is, like, the original inspiration for a lot of gray area as well, so... It would make sense to, to do sound design similar. Maybe I should go to the egg zone? There's just one little robot here. Oh, this is sad. That's really sad. Oh. Do not like. I mean, I can uh, uh, level up my bubbler. Egg corridor abnormal. I bet Arrow would not enjoy this. Why is it so hard to get the bubbler leveled back up? Oh, that one's kind of okay. There we go. Oh no, but it's mean. Oh, 
I'm not gonna fight him. Manji. Only the Joker would consider these eggs normal. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I lost all of the level in it. Come here, you bug. You bug bean. Bug a bean. Come here, you. You ever just call somebody a bug a bean? No, I do. I am often saying bug a bean. Everybody who watches this stream knows that I say that all the time. This is definitely not the first time I've ever said bug a bean. Nobody could ever think this was the first time I ever said bug a bean. Okay, I don't like this. I think I may have made a mistake. It's all I say? I am- Elena is always saying this. Yes, I'm always saying bugabee. For sure. This is... unfortunate. God. Brilliant move on my part, huh? Good. Oh, thank god I got the bubbler level up. Now it's actually effective. Might be able to level it up fully. baby dragon. Aha! Fully leveled up bubbles. I have become fully bubbleized. Oh, never mind. Of course it was too good to be true. They're non-breakable blocks. How do I get down there, though? Oh, you don't. So I do have to somehow go through there, huh? I have to somehow figure out this part. After all... Oh! 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 The spur saves the day. Feel, I would feel really bad about fighting the little baby dragons. Oh 
my lord. Did you see that, chat? That was a big time explosion. All that for two little Dorites. And then I do that. Oops. Oops. We'll get it one of these days. The hint to go to Egg Corridor was very subtle, or how I picked up on it, was just that, um... said to take Sue and get off the island. And I remembered that, um... That was the idea with the... or like, her thing was, was, the, was the eggs, right? I was like, oh, she must be there. And as it turns out, I was correct. At least correct, and this is where I was supposed to go. But that was my reasoning. I hate trying to level up the bubbler. I touched the dragon. It was my perfect record with the dragons. Haha. <laughs> ah. How many Doritos should I drop? On death? You mean, uh, Cave Story Phil here? Or me as a person? Like, if I died, how many Doritos should I drop? game, I would really like this Dorito. No, no Dorito for me. Me? I don't know. I would drop one big Dorito. At least that's what I'd like. That's what I tell myself to uh, feel good about myself when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, if you died, you would drop one really big Dorito. This is how I this is how I feel that I have self-worth. Is by imagining that I would drop one really big Dorito. Oh. Well that was really bad. Knowing how it used to be, I probably fought the the baby dragons. Gosh dang it. The first time I played this. Okay, I'm just screw the bubbler. Nobody nobody gives a shit about the bubbler. You drop one small Dorito so tiny you can't even see it. Oh I see. And then I hit the spike on the ceiling. Good job. Lena. Actually, you know what? This will probably get me a level up bubbler. Yep. 
Oh, you gotta be laughing and joking and numb nuts right about now. There we go. <laughs> Why am I suck at this so much? I'm terrible at Cave Story. I'm the worst Cave Story player that has ever existed in the history of time and space. My god. The max missile increase is important. some assurance that I can keep this. Everybody's gonna point at me and be like, "I'm be careful. I'm a gamer, and uh, you look like just enough experience to level up." Or I'm just, I'm just, I'm real close to to leveling up, and you look like just enough experience. That's what everybody's, that's what everybody's gonna say when they see me now, because they know I give good experience. Ooh. Without making, without letting it explode first. There we go. Got a level three on the bubbler. My life's mission is complete. I did that. Great work, Elena. Ah. I'll break that. Let me see. Egg observation room? What happened to all the computers? Last time. Oh dear. It's giving me all these rockets. Maybe I'm supposed to use them. Oops. Oh dear. This is gonna be. This is gonna be great. I was playing the stream for another half hour. How much you want to bet I'm going to get past this in the next half hour or not? <laughs> there you go. I'm not going to... I cannot keep focusing on the bubble air though. Like it's just a fool's errand. What I can do though is uh, try to level up the rockets. Because they, they can still go up one more level.
Here we go. <laughs> Next missile's increased by five. I'm so used to being low health here, I, I didn't realize I didn't actually need it at the moment. Okay. You sure I will be able to? I'm glad somebody's confident in me. Oh, I level up. I ended up leveling up the bubbler anyway! That's incredible. Okay. Oh, you gotta be joshing me. There, well, whatever, I'll take the hit. God damn it. And that means, but that means I didn't even end up, like, benefiting from that because I took damage, which made me lose experience. What a maroon. Egg maroon zone. Oh, come on, you stinky bug. You gotta be kidding me. How many Tootsie Roll- how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? That's what it felt like, destroying that, uh, the lag tight. Now, 10 damage for that, huh? That's what we're dealing with, huh? Well, this is fairly easy to, to dodge stuff. Especially now that I have this. Boy, I wish I would have had this for the core fight. Oops. Boy, I wasn't really doing much to them at all, was I? Gee whiz! Gee whiz. I like how it said, do you want to go to the egg corridor? With a, with a question mark. And you think that it's just asking if you want to go there, but cleverly, that's actually the name of the place. It's very, very genius writing happening here. My art. Sergeant Bloody, come to stream. 
Oh man, I'm so close to leveling this up. Aha! Now I'll just try to give myself some assurance. Here we go. Oh, there's not a lot in that third level, is there? You can really easily lose it and then take forever to get it back. I see how it works. I see what we're operating on here. Egg Corridor? That's a subtle reference to Egg Corridor? Exactly. Brilliant, isn't that? Artistic genius seldom seen in video games. time. Well, it was for a second. That's right, I'm leveling up the bubbler again. You thought I wouldn't- Oh, what?! Oh my god. I, I was- Just not on my game tonight. Well, today. This is the afternoon. I mean, for some of you, it might be tonight. I don't know. I don't know where y'all live. I don't know what kind of places y'all are living in. <laughs> Some of one of you is probably living in the land of perpetual night. Alright, show of hands. How many viewers do I have from the land of perpetual night? by five. Oh my god, please. I give up. Just sit still for one second, will you? the daytime didn't exist here, JK. Unless... Sasha just slowly raise his hand. You know, you don't know what that means? You know, the, the, the place where, like, there's like a, there's like a curse, you know? There's like some ancient wizard curse the place to have infinite night. You know what that is, right? We get viewers from there all the time. No! Why did I do that? Why am I losing it? My brain cells are falling out of my ear right now, I think. Not that there was any in there to begin with. <laughs> I don't 
claim to have um, any brain at all. Make no claim to any brain cells. Hate to accidentally destroy the sun with a flurry of well placed beam attacks. <laughs> ah! There you go. Baby. Oops. I'm that was really smart. Highly intelligent move on my part. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. Aw oh, man, and I missed the big good hearts, too. How disappointing. Okay, that was not very smart of me. Shouldn't have been risking that like that. survive two hits from the I, I can now only survive one hit from the boss. Actually, no, still two hits. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get some insurance on that um, rocket level up. the twin dragons if you just want to reach the next save point by the way. Oh really? Oh. And then I miss out on more rockets, right? I mean it's only five more. I love that. I'm not gonna fight the twin dragons for five rockets. It's not worth it. You can come back later. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine by me. I'm. This is fantastic. I've, I'm loving. I'm living life and loving it right now. A hundred percent, definitely. 
loving every life decision I've made up to this point right now, for sure. <laughs> Especially the ones I've made playing this game. I'm switching to the weapon that's right next to the rocket so that um, I can switch to the rocket immediately when the, when the triangles are here. Like that. Actually, I'm just going to use the rocket because who gives a rip? Who gives a flying rip? If Quote could talk, what do you think his voice would sound like? Aha, uh -huh, asking for a friend. Seems like I can only switch in one direction, yeah. If I if I can switch the other way, I don't know how. Oh, I can <laughs> Guess what buttons you have to press to, to switch like this, to switch back and forth? You want you wanna take a you wanna take a wild guess which buttons are doing this? You're very confused by the implications of that clarifier. It's pretty much the least convenient way that this could possibly be being done. Normally I switch with Y or L. Oh, I see. Y and L go back and forth. Okay, well that's better. You wanna know what else you can do it with though? Yeah, it's start and select. <laughs> you got it. You got it in one. But Y and L do it too, so that's not too bad. I didn't realize that they weren't just the same thing. And now, I do. So that should help. Which is a little bit funky because the R button- it would make more sense if it was L and R. Obviously, but R does this. It opens this menu. So... Don't know what to do with, with that info. Well, this is an unmitigated disaster. Now? And... Precontastic. I could not figure out how to rebind the controls in this game, though, is the thing. Uh, why? I'm dying in, like, the most absurd ways. I hate this. Got yeah, about like 15 minutes left. What would Phil would sound like Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince? Is that just because I keep calling him Cave Story Phil? Also, I don't know what that character sounds like. I haven't watched enough of that show. I have watched that show before, but it's just been at, like, completely random times.
throughout my life. And only very briefly. I finally hit the damn thing. That damn bug was ruining my life. You ever just have a damn bug that ruins your life? Or even a non-damn bug that still ruins your life? You forgot I called him that? Oh, I see. Incredible. to that sweet, sweet rocket level up. I don't know why I want this rocket launcher level up so badly, but I do. It's the only thing in life I'm trying to accomplish at the moment. Bugs have only ever improved your day. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that... I keep forgetting whether L or Y goes which direction, and it's very bad. It's L. L, Alina. L plus ratio. Gosh dang it. Can't believe I hit the spike. There we go. Oh, it's just gonna blow now. Really? That's... Too close? I thought I, I swore I stood there before and lived. Just everything's going wrong! I can't believe this! I'm gonna stop even bothering with leveling up the rocket launcher at this point. L, Aina. L plus Aina, that's me. That sounds too close to Anus, though. I, I'm not gonna let people start calling me Aina. Although I don't think anybody was going to. I feel like I've just uh, caused my own problem here. You weren't lying about the me being cute part, though. So this was two. This is two lies and a truth. Is what you were playing here. In that case. I try my best to be cute. I hope it's working out. Aina sounds like one of the wrong ways Moody calls Ina all the time. <laughs> I mean, how do we know which ways are wrong? She's the only one in the thing who has said Ina. Ina's name. Maybe every way that Mooney has said it is correct, you know? Ah, thank you. <laughs> I work very hard at being cute. It is good to have my hard work pay off. <laughs> ah.
There we go. To be this cute takes ages. <laughs> the new Sega slogan. I've made it for them. And I'm the I'm the I'm the mascot for it. You're gonna see me in some Sega ads coming up. And I'm and in them I'm just cute. That's the gimmick. I'm gonna be in them with uh, Hatsune Miku. I didn't even get to use the level three rocket. Everything is terrible. Everything sucks. Everything is bad when you keep getting hit with stuff. And you have eight health. To be this cute, take Sega. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh lord. Am I going to get through this before the end of the stream? Who knows? I certainly don't. Guess what? Every time every time I die, it's because I went for the for the goddamn rocket launcher upgrade. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm exp I gotta. I gotta channel my inner SpongeBob. Although he failed at that, and so maybe I should not channel that. Maybe I should not take after SpongeBob in this inst in this instance. Do you ever think about that? There's a new like SpongeBob, like proper like SpongeBob game. It's, it's in development, but they like they showed a cool trailer for it. And I don't think we've heard anything else about it since then. And the people who made the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake that was pretty good. I'm I'm happy that they evidently did well enough to get the green light to make their own project. Yeah. There's like one trailer for it. I, f I don't even remember what it's called. I'm not. I'm not like. I cannot be super excited for it because like they didn't show what it is. But like the the trailer looked nice. And if it's like a 3D platformer, that's cool. We have like a bit of a 3D platformer renaissance at the moment, which is cool. Cosmic Shake, that's what it's called, yes. Yeah, I was just thinking about it the other day for who knows what reason. It just came into my head. It's like, oh yeah. I think it was because I was thinking about games that I... Oops. That I'm planning to play in the future. That was one of them I was thinking of. Also, there's that Clonoa re-release -re coming in July. I'm gonna play that. I might stream it. We'll see what my schedule's like by then. I have no clue what I'm gonna be streaming by then. <laughs> I might still be playing this, because this game gets really hard. There may be some long-ass trial and error streams in the future with this. Especially because I'm doing the true ending. I mean, I hope that it doesn't take months to get there, but... Oops. The 
Okay, save point. I'm 60% of the way through this at least. I mean, there's some there's some tough beans. I don't think it took me months to beat it the first time I beat it though. So, <laughs> although in that case I was like playing it every day and this is going to be a once a week thing. You know, I really should probably just stop here. Because we're almost at two hours. I've reached a new save point. I think whatever happens here, I should do next time. <laughs> wow, he laughed. Ta-da! <laughs> Well, that was a lot harder than I expected it to be. But I did it, in the end. <laughs> Seems like a good stopping spot. Okay, well, we got a big day tomorrow. Kirby in the Forgotten Land comes out, and I'm gonna stream it for... Um, the whole stream is just gonna be that. And it's gonna be a little bit longer than my usual streams, too. It's gonna be like five hours instead of four. Um... And I'm gonna have face cam, so that's gonna be exciting. Um, it's probably not gonna be the, the only time I ever do face cam. That's probably gonna be the thing I do moving forward. I just gotta decide when I feel like doing that. I might do it for Paper Mario uh, on Sunday as well, just just for, for the fun of it. <laughs> um. So yeah, so that's coming up. Then, so yes, Paper Mario Sunday. Uh, we're gonna start Raymond Legends on Sunday, so that's gonna be fun. I love Raymond Legends. Um, and then Thursday uh, will be this again. We're gonna do The Last Guardian, and we're gonna do Cave Story. Uh, I'm probably gonna want to stream more Kirby. I might throw that in somewhere, like maybe on like Tuesday or something. We'll see what I want to do with that. Um, uh, well, I'm definitely gonna stream it again next Friday. It's just that like. I'm going to be really excited about this new Kirby game, and I might want to stream it more often than just once a week. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we got coming up. And then, of course, future game plans is, like, new Super Mario Bros., Curse of Monkey Island, um, probably Pokemon Legends will probably get streamed some more at some point, so... See you tomorrow for my big exciting stream, everybody. <laughs> you get to see me live in person for the first time on stream, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright. Um, see you then. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.